Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to replace rear brakes, brake pads, rotors on a 2011 Lexus ES350. Uh, you're going to need C-clamp, something like that. You're going to need size 14 socket or a wrench, maybe even two, depends how bad it is. Uh, to remove the caliper rear, that's to get to the brake pads, but if you're going to replace the rotor, you're going to need to remove the brake caliper bracket. Uh, and there is are bolts that I'm going to show you. So, so these are the bolts for uh, your caliper, and these are the bolts for your brackets. One, and there's one at the bottom. Uh, to remove the To remove the rotor, there is few things you're gonna need. Once you remove your caliper and your caliper bracket, two bolts, one at the bottom, one at the top, you might have to uh, remove this rubber uh, plug. And there is a, once you remove it, either it's in a, I don't remember which position, it's either uh, it might be in this position or you would have to rotate to this position at the bottom. You would just have to, once you remove, look it up with a the flashlight, there is a little wheel. You might have to uh, either up or down to release the brake pad for them to, because they're right now spread apart, and you won't be able to pull uh, the drum, the disc, the brake disc, this whole thing. So to release, you will actually, they will compress in, and then when you put this back, you would have to adjust, make sure it doesn't lock up. It's very simple, you know, when I pull it out, if you see in it, you, there's a little wheel with notches, and if you are actually don't see that this, the, the, the rotor doesn't spin, that means you're doing it in the opposite direction. Just a couple turns, see if it comes out, if not, then do it again. Uh, one other thing, just to remember, this part here, you might have to spray some WD-40 or something, use the hammer here on the sides, or if it doesn't work, you gotta use the bolt. The size, I'm not exactly sure the size is between one quarter and like five sixteenths. Maybe it is one quarter uh, of the diameter to break it loose. Or maybe just using the hammer, a hammer on the side will actually will help. So that's the thing uh, about removing the rear uh, rotor. So let me show you how to remove your pads. Break it, break it loose your uh, bolts with size 14 socket and sometimes, let me show you the bottom one, uh, it might, you might have to need a socket or two in two wrenches because when you're trying to uh, unscrew this bolt, this whole thing actually sometimes it was twisting on me the top portion. You might have to hold it with wrench, one wrench and with another wrench break it loose. So that's what maybe you need to have two wrenches size 14 or wrench and a socket. So remove two bolts, not remove, break them loose. As you can see, my caliper is not even moving anymore. Uh, using C-clamp, what you want to do is make sure you attach into the right spot right there because you have a line up there. Make sure you don't touch the line, otherwise you're going to break it, break the line. So just this spot here, just this little bit right there behind her. Put it and keep pushing the, the cylinder in, the caliper, twisting it until until it stops basically. That's it, it stopped, so don't overdo it. There is no need to use excessive force. Now I'm gonna reboot the bolts. Reason for pushing caliper piston back is to first of all to lubricate and if you put in new brake pads you would have to push it back all the way otherwise you're not going to be able to put the new brake pads so so what I'm going to do here is to remove the brake pads inspect them 
uh, I'm, what I'm gonna do, all those contact points, I'm gonna put some grease so to prevent it from sticking and and if there is anything there, clean it. Type of grease, I will place the link where you can buy. High temperature grease, uh, it doesn't really matter what brand. Any brand works. This is what I'm talking about. Just those points. Don't overdo it. There is no need to put excessive. It will prevent from sticking and it will prevent from uh, rusting. Same thing on the other side. As you can see, I'm just barely something. And I've been doing this for years. I never had problems with my brake pads from, uh, from being stuck or rusted in. Put it back. Center with the rear, the other one. A lot of grease from previously where they put this uh, this plate, this metal plate. Same thing. Just the edges where it gets in contact with the metal spring plates. Same thing on the other side. And then put it back. Just make sure to wipe your hands clean. You don't want to touch the rotor once you... And very easy. Kind of slide bottom. And then you will slide the top. Next step. The very important step. Is to... You see those bolts are... They're actually not bad. The other side was worse. They should be more freely moving. Is to lubricate those pins using a specific special grease. Not just any grease, but you gotta use the special grease because not all uh, brake or not all they're not compatible. Let me put it this way. So I'm gonna put some grease on the inside there. It might look like I'm overdoing it, but hey. Not gonna hurt having it more and lubricated than not having enough and having problems because water and excessive braking, all that stuff, you know, has and just keep twisting, make sure it's all been lubricated enough. Well, kind of twist, pushed, and see, went back. Now it's a lot smoother than this one. This one is quite so hard you can barely move it. Because if you don't grease those pins, your brake caliper is not going to move around and your your brakes, brakes will squeal and wear out unevenly much faster than they should and you will overheat your rotor. So it's in your benefit to make sure that I check mine every, every year. Same thing, keep twisting it until if there is excessive grease, just wipe it off the clean rag. Now I'm going to put the caliper back. Just like bottom, you see, it's. And let me show you what I mean. See, the bottom one is twisting, the whole thing is twisting, so that's the reason why you hold this one, use the socket or another wrench, and just tighten it. Same thing for the top. And this is a Lexus, I just want to show you guys the trim, well, the mirror right there. So this is an ES350, actually right there, right there is the, it says Lexus, so uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, if you have any questions, ask me, and enjoy.